Well, you guys got another video here for you. Every Windows 10 version has reached end of life or end of support by Microsoft. Of course, this is another major error by Microsoft. This is a version of Windows 10 that I'm running right here on the About page. You can see Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC 21H2. Of course, this has now reached end of life. It is a glitch. Uh, Microsoft have made a boo-boo by updating everyone's PC. And of course, it's now made every version of Windows 10 end of life, including Windows 10 IoT LTSC. So if you're seeing your version of Windows has reached end of support, your device will no longer receive security updates, then don't panic. It is just a glitch and Microsoft hopefully will fix this. Because as it stands right now, my version of Windows 10 is not going to receive any security updates because they've made it end of support. And this will go for every version of Windows 10. So how Microsoft are going to reverse this is probably by a little update. It will come down and it will reverse uh, this issue. Because now every version of Windows 10 on the planet has reached end of support, which is not the case because this has right up until 12th of January 2027, as you can see right here on the screen. So this is the version of Windows 10 I'm running right here, which is an LTSC version. If you're running a Windows 10 21H2 IoT LTSC version, uh, then you've got up until January 13th, 2032 for your version of Windows. But even those versions of Windows will be showing as end of support and end of life. And of course, some people may panic and overreact to this uh, end of support for their version of Windows 10. Another problem that Microsoft had is they never really released the Windows 10 Consumer Extended Security Updates program for $30 to their users until it reached end of life. Once Windows 10 reached end of life, a few days later, Microsoft then released this $30 payment that you can pay to extend the life of your machine. So this has come at the end of the end of life for Windows 10. And of course, now people have the option to opt in. So some people might not have already opted in to extend the support for their Windows 10 machine. If that is the case, you can either use the $30 option, which will obviously mean you won't have to keep signing in to your Microsoft account every 60 days if you use this option. If you use one of the free options in the EEA, then of course you would have to sign in to your Microsoft account every 60 days. And if you're in the US, you're going to have a few other options available to you. You won't get the free option just to make things more confusing. Anyway, just a quick video for today. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.